Hey guys, welcome back to another Boxer tutorial. So last time I showed you how to sort of automate this whole process and I told you it's a bit flaky with overflow. Uh, but as you can see I, I put in some extra redstone engines so that all this is working automatically now. Uh, I've got a lot of gold in here still. So now I want to show you, so let's pull out an item from the chest automatically. So that's iron ore and in here is some gold. So I'll show you what it does when, when, when that happens and how we can fix it afterwards. So just follow this very slow iron ore. Come on, come on. Boink. Done. That's it. And it'll actually disappear after five minutes if you don't pick it up. So that's a problem. That, that is a problem. So what, what can we do to fix it? Now there's a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is by making a simple loop on top. Um, it does lack the server if you have too many items in there. So if there's like still 64 gold in here and there's 64 iron ore and 64 tin ore floating in there, that's, that's going to end badly. But for a basic setup, you know, if you just want to leave your home to go mining for a bit, it's 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 pretty good. So I'll show you how to do that. Now we'll we'll, we'll need uh, we'll need some some pretty heavy items for that. So we need uh, some diamonds. Actually, we need two diamonds like that and a glass. Now that makes you a diamond transport pipe. And then we also need something called an advanced insertion pipe. You don't need this, but it's it's just better. It'll make sure that there's no items popping out whatsoever. So the way you make this is stone, smooth stone, not cobblestone. Again, the glass and a little bit of redstone on top. Now, you do have to note that this only interacts with normal stone pipes, not with cobblestone pipes. So I'm just going to have to remove these. Like that, and get some stone pipe. No. Oops. Pipe. Where is it? There you go. Stone transport pipes. So we remake this little bit and you put the advanced insertion pipe on a machine you want to put stuff into. Now what this does is normally as you see an item going through a pipe it moves very slowly. Now when this is attached, as soon as an item comes, actually I can show you here, let's, let's do that fast. Oh, that's not stone. Whoopsie. As soon as an item gets in there, it shoots it in there instantly. So the next item that comes uh, will be put, pulled up or anywhere. Whilst without this, the item will go in slowly. So when the item is, say, for example, here, and the next item comes into this pipe, it still sends it down, even though there's no room in it. As you can see, boof, it disappears. So that's that. we need that. We need that. So the next thing you need is a diamond pipe like that. Now, this is a little bit confusing, but first we'll finish this. So any items that can't go in there will be sent somewhere else. But where do we want to send them? Well. We can wanna either send them back into a chest or for a basic setup, we just wanna loop them around. Like so. So any items that can go in in the macerator down here will be sent up, down there, down here again. And the diamond is a sorting machine. So when you right click on it, you can put filters in and you see all these little colours here. These represent the same colours as you can see here. So we've got green, white, and yellow. Now we get uh, one of each ore, which we'll need. So just like that. Oh. There we go. So once these ores come out, they try to go in there, they can, so they go up and they come here again. We want to make sure they don't go back into the chest. We want them to go back in here. And again, if they can't go in, they'll just keep going in circles. So this is called a yellow, so we right click on that and we put all the ores in the yellow. And now when we start pumping out of this chest, very slowly, incredibly slowly, this diamond pipe will say, okay, you're an ore, so you have to go right, not up. 
So all these should go to the right. And this pipe will say, can I go down? No, let's go up then. So there we go, it goes up. And this will just keep going in a circle and a circle and a circle and a circle until there's room here. And as soon as there's room there, it'll send it down there in, in the mass rider. And we can do this exact same thing here. So we chalk down that, put a diamond pipe there fast. Nope. Nah, come on. And this will work the exact same way. But of course there's room in here. We can put some, some diamonds in there maybe so that it can't go in and instantly it'll go up. And we haven't set these up, so what is that? Red. In the red. And this will keep looping the gold. Of course we don't have any iron dust yet, so if there's any iron in here it'll just go anywhere. And that's your basic overflow system which works pretty well. I I've used this many times for ages without any problems whatsoever. I know there's other variants with some obsidian pipes and stuff but this, I mean it looks cool you know. It's it's, it's uh, quite laggy once you've got a load of it. But it's pretty cool. So the other thing I wanted to show you this episode is how you can use multiple engines to speed things up. So you can for example put another engine here and another engine. Let's break this. Actually, let's uh, let's let's do it on this side. That's probably easier because the chest is kind of full. So we could maybe put another engine here, another engine on that side, and then we have to put some levers down again. Nope. Plonk. Turn those on. Turn this one on. Now as you can see this will pull three items at a time. So anytime any of these engines turns on, one item gets pulled out. So when these run at faster speed, which takes about probably 15-20 minutes, this will be lightning fast. And as you can see all my ores just keep going in circles. But when I remove the gold ore from here, you can see instantly there's tin ore. All the tin ore will be filtered out and just the copper ore will keep going. So yeah, that's basic overflow protection. This works pretty well. Again, don't use this on, on multiplayer servers um, for long. You can, you can use it at start, like this many items is fine, doesn't hurt. But once you get like thousands or hundreds of items flowing around, this will really start hurting. But that's sort of um, an easy way of doing it. If you want to make it a little bit more multiplayer safe, you can just feed this back into a chest. But still not very good. And I'll show you how to do it better in the next episode. Thanks guys, oh nice, and it's getting dark, oh nice. Perfect, perfect ending. <laughs> Thanks for watching.